Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in learning how to create virtual cards that link to your actual credit card to keep your information safe, stay tuned. I'm going to walk through privacy.com very, very quickly in today's video. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so that for those of you that are tuned into my channel, you know that I have tons of videos on making mobile apps using codeless application development platforms. Specifically, I have a couple of videos on making some mobile apps for free without needing to know how to code. But oftentimes when you're trying to sign up for different services, you may need to have a credit card number and you may not always know if that service is authentic. Now, I do want to make a quick note that I have seen privacy as a sponsor of at least one video I've watched on YouTube. However, I have not used it myself, but I'm likely going to consider it in the future. So with that being said, this is not a personal review. This is just a quick note of something that I thought was really, really cool when I was looking around online. Now, I want to note that since I haven't used this, this is something I am going over. So use it at your own risk. Make sure you do your own research first. So when we go to privacy.com, you'll see quite a few different options. But the thing that I really, really like is when you go to pricing, you'll see here that they have a free tier for 12 cards a month. And as you're kind of scrolling through, you can learn that basically they have the ability to allow this to be free because they charge for uh, a lot of this for consumers and basically merchants. So they charge fees to merchants. So um, you may want to look into the actual security of this on your own end because I'm not endorsing them by any means. I'm just offering this as an educational video because I think it's a really, really unique service. This will not by any means, in my opinion, completely protect you, but it is a really cool idea. So basically you will have the ability to add credit cards to this platform and then generate virtual cards. So you can minimize personally identifying information that you share. So when we go to what are virtual cards, you'll see what is it, and then you'll see how do they work. So it's a payment number with a CVV and expiration date created through our website, and then they function just like a credit card. Now you have quite a few different options when you're doing this. So you'll see they charge card provider fees so they can use the service for free, but you'll learn a little bit more about this and kind of how it works. But when we go to pricing and plans to see a bit more, you'll see for free at the time of filming this video, you get 12 cards per month, secure merchant lock and single use cards, which I think is really cool. Ability set spend limits, pause and close cards and access to the web, mobile and browser extension. So web app, mobile app and browser extension. And then you get even more, including cash back when you'd go to paid versions. So I think that this is really cool. The idea is if you want to go try something online, you have the ability to set quite a few different things. So you'll see that you have the ability to uh, do things like discrete merchants, ability to mask transaction info on your bank statement. There's tons of things you can do. So if you wanted to see if a website's legitimate or not, the theory being you could link your credit card and then give a fake credit card number or a virtual credit card number and then limit the type of transactions or, you know, you can just do so many different things from within this platform. So again, when you learn more, so you can go to support to learn more about how this actually works. So you can see how you can create and manage. You can see account and card limits. So you'll see right here, for example, spending limits. So you can choose spending limits. So you have virtual card spending limits. So you can set a limit and then determine how often it can be used on a transaction day, month, year, or total basis. So when you set the spending limit, <clears throat> you'll see that basically you're setting a limit for whichever category. You can remove them, control the duration. So the idea is if you wanna put a limit on whatever card you're using, you can read more here. And then you can learn about all the other options that you can um, kind of work through. So you can see account and card limits. These are all about those spending limits, but you can scroll through managing private account. Uh, you can see different options for transactions, refunds, and then you can learn more about private cards as well or privacy cards. So I think that this is a really, really cool option for those of you that haven't taken a look, but I would love to know from those of you who actually have tried this platform, if you could let me know in the description, what are your thoughts? Have you used it? Do you enjoy it? And I'd love to hear more. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.